like if you listen to Sean Ryan's podcast, he had a great guest on there. I don't remember the guy's name, but he was talking about just with his, I don't remember if it was a Roomba specific vacuum, but you know, those little automatic robot vacuums. And he was saying that it was automatically connecting to a server in China. And he said, there's a lot of those products that are connecting to servers and stuff like that in China. And he goes, what reason would my vacuum cleaner have to connect to a, a Chinese server? Like there isn't one, you know? <laughs> so a, a lot of those things are, are just really interesting, but you had brought up um, mineral farming and stuff like that. Um, so when, when we look at mineral farming and stuff, which I have a, this was a conversation that somewhat classified and we'll talk about it afterwards, uh, because I don't want to bring it up on a public forum or whatever. Um, but the exploitation of mineral, uh, minerals for, renewable energy, like for batteries and stuff like that. I think one of, it, it seems a bit hypocritical to me, um, mainly because not that I have a problem with the lithium batteries themselves, they are a much more efficient, but one of the things that, you know, we get sold a bill of goods on is that these, and this comes from my robotics background, Lithium batteries can be drained all the way to zero and then brought back and mm -hmm. recharged. However, lead-based batteries cannot. So they can only be trained, I want to say it was to like 40, 50% and brought back. So